What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Uh, child, everybody following out with King C. I'm just here to watch it with y'all. You dig? Uh, this is um wrong video. This is Call of Kid. Yeah, Call of Kid. I don't know. This is another boy. <laughs> okay, so here goes the Call of Kid video. Uh, yeah, we about to get into this, child. Uh-huh. That's the groupie girl that Sid had around. That's the groupie girl. Okay. Yeah, right here. Groupie girl. Ooh. Here you go, Kindergarten. So basically, Sid watching. Feed our family, bro. I'm I knew automatically in my head I had to go. I cannot believe this shit got to the internet, bro. This nigga speaking facts. Go get my. Yo, it's a boy I call a kid. AKA so cool. AKA back with a new banger. Banger. What's up to the family? What's up to Steve's gang, Steve's family? So today we're gonna be reacting to um they so ugly talking about Sid and stuff like that um and then about the group and stuff like that so I'm gonna react to the first part that you know Nate talked about I ain't gonna lie I'm gonna keep it real I watched a little bit of it but I ain't get to watch all of it you know what I'm saying I watched a little bit of it but not all of it so I was like I was like wait 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 he said all this you know let's let's do a reaction you feel me and on top of that I had a lot of people sending wait, me so you were trying a lot to of people sending me the video on my DMs telling me to even react to it so I'm like man let me react to it let me tell my part of the story let me tell you I was right. Let me tell you I was wrong. You feel me? So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm going to be react to it. And yeah, man, let's let's react to it, man. Let's see what Nate got to say, man. Did on Sid. You feel me? So, yeah, let's watch this video, man. So, I did already react to Nate, but my video was absolutely all over the place. So, I'm just trying to get his, react as much as this as I can. <laughs> 46 minutes is crazy. It's got 109K in hours. Not even a day yet, bro. How has Shopify enabled your business to scale. Shopify has enabled my business to scale. You know, niggas and them watching these ads be crazy to me. Nah, 109k in seven hours is crazy. Hey, kings. Let's watch this, y'all. He gonna get a good check off that. Oh my God. Oh my God, man. If you have not peeped it already, and some of y'all did, and some of y'all didn't, but I don't. I Let's watch this together, you feel me? I'm gonna tell a part of my story. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell, you know, what's right and what's wrong, you feel me? Y'all know I do straight, real stuff. I'm always keep it real, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, let's watch this together, y'all. Let's see what you're talking about. Wait, bro. I done let a lot of shit die down, but I did not let nothing slide, fam. Because you really tried it, and you tried me. You tried my character. Damn. You tried my intelligence. Damn. You really sized me, fam. Like I'm a goofy, like I'm some goofball, like I'm a lame-ass nigga. Before I even get started, let me just make one thing clear. That Steve, the Steve's group, I'm not a part of that. Do not associate me with that shit. I'm not a part of that group. F that group. It's nothing for that group. That group was just a big-ass scam for just to Damn. put money in this nigga pockets, bro. This nigga was using our faces to put money in his fucking pocket. I mean, it'll be times, you know, I put up with stuff like them, like the um, magic video they did. I put up, I was putting bread. I'm putting bread to, you know, for the flights, you know. I'm doing, a, I'm paying bread. I'm obviously what? putting it in too, y'all. You feel me? Um, yeah, you know, some, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real. For some the flights? Was, wasn't putting in, but I was main, I was the main character. The whoa, 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 whoa. What, you, what, what do you mean putting in for flights? Why everybody wasn't paying for their own flight? Oh man, they trying to pretty boy Fredo, my boy. <laughs> Main one to always put in for everything. Oh put in for man, you, for the videos for the stage channel, I put it in. So yeah, I want y'all to know I recently got an assistant. Right, I'm gonna watch the video. Give me a fucking second. I'm gonna say my piece. Um. Oh baby, she get fed. I gonna pick her up if we go anywhere. I'm flying her out. What do we? She'll never have to complain about this. This got to be the worst thing to get exposed for. No cap. And, you know, we, yeah. Pockets. But I'm going to get into that later on towards the video. But let me start off with you, Mr. King said. There's four reasons why I had to stop fucking with bro. Matter of fact, it's not even three, four three, three reasons three why. Chat. It was the reasons that led up to me just not fucking with bro completely, bro. This all started when we all moved into a crib together. But it was this nigga idea in the first place. He called. That's me right there. That's me right there. I don't know, I don't know if y'all can see it, but that's me right there. Look. Yep, that's me right there. That's the house. 
called my phone saying, yo, Nate, I'm getting a crib. I want you to move in. I want us to start a, a whole group channel called the Steez. You feel me? The Steez group, whatever. He mm. called my phone. Remind you, at the time, I was living with my mom. You get what I'm saying? I was still living with my mom. I was like, well, I'm, I'm 23, still living with my mom. So I'm just like, you know what? Let me take this opportunity to move. Stay there. God, I wish he would have stayed. Move out. It's my first time moving out. And th and I'm moving out with other people. That's the shit you say when you older now. <laughs> that I do the same shit with. And I'm moving with other people that I'm cool with, that I grew up with, technically. Because me and him graduated together in high school. I met this nigga in high school, bro. So fast forward. I move in. I pay 15 to move in, right? That's facts. This was the first issue I had with this nigga. When I first moved into the fucking house, that first, the first two weeks... Or the first week or the second week. I was on the phone downstairs with a girl. It's 2 p.m., people. Everybody else is still asleep. It's 2 p.m., right? I forgot he said he was on the phone downstairs. Okay. It's 2 p.m. I'm downstairs talking to a girl. Everybody's still asleep. Then this nigga Sid comes down. He sees me on the phone. He sees me on the phone. I see him. Damn, everybody was still asleep. They stay up all night. He see me on the phone. I'm talking to the girl still on the phone out of nowhere. Five minutes later, this nigga starts yelling at me, telling me to get off the phone. Oh, why the f you on the phone? What if I came downstairs and started talking, this and that? Get the yeah, fuck I don't know what to say about that because I wasn't there. I'm going to say stuff that I was there and I was a part of and I was around and I was seeing it. Yeah, but that, I can't just, I can't lie and be, you know, I'm not, I'm not, one thing about me, bro, I'm not a yes man, you feel me? I'm not going to always, I'm not going to deride, you feel me? I'm going to always keep it real, bro, you feel me? So I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I don't know. I, this is what he's saying right now. I don't know what he's talking about. But it's some stuff on there. He, he talked about me and he, and I was around. You feel me? So let's keep watching. Off the phone. You always on the phone. You always on the phone with a different bitch every day. Get the fuck off the phone. What the f my nigga? I had to stop and think and realize this nigga is telling me to get off the phone to a house I'm paying twelve hundred a month. Remind you people, I paid 15 to move in. Now, after that 15, I have to pay 1200 a month. That 1200 only came with a bedroom and a shared bathroom with Jay Wonder. So you mean to tell me I paid all this money for you to tell me, oh, get off the f All right, now that's real. Like, that's, that's real, though. I ain't gonna lie. He was, he was, they was sharing bathroom, though. You feel me? We all were damn near sharing bathroom. Sid was the only nigga that was in um. Sure about that. I ain't gonna lie. Phone, tell me what the f to do, what when to be on the phone, and you telling me to get off the phone like you my f dad. When you in a house uh, full of people, sometimes you're gonna share a bathroom. I don't know why that's so deep. And these niggas don't have periods, so I think that they was fine. <laughs> I don't even know my f daddy, bro. And you telling me to get off the phone like you my f daddy, bro. What the f is wrong with you? That day, literally, after he said that, started yelling at me, snapping on me to get off the phone, bro. I just walked out. I ain't saying nothing to him. The man continued rambling on. Then out of nowhere, that's when Jay Wonder comes in, talk about some, oh, just ignore him. He's just mad. Da 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 da. Y'all boys should dead it. This and that. I bro, do not say that. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna leave him out. I know, but not. Too, so I'm I'm I'm, I'm getting bullied and all that. I could stay at my mama house like I damn like damn what's it did fifteen hundred damn 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 told wonder the same shit. I didn't move in. I didn't pay twelve hundred to get yelled at, beat, and told what to do. I could have stayed at my fucking mother house. I don't even know my my mother house daddy. And this nigga trying to act like my fucking daddy, bro. Damn. What the f bro? And then on top of that, not only is this nigga telling me to get off the phone, I have to go through the nigga to invite guests, bro. I have to go through the nigga to invite guests. Which is crazy. Yes. So I mean, house I'm paying times, 1200 right, a month right, to, bro. Right, right. It'll be times, yeah, you could bring a guest there, like here and there. You know, you can bring guests here and there. But it'll be a point, it'll be to a point, like, it'll be too much. You know, we, we, we move in a house, you know what I'm saying? We move in a house as a group to grind. And, you know, make the group bigger, you know. So, it got to a point, you know. I don't know. I feel like Sid probably, you know, Sid was looking at it like he was bringing too much, you know, too much people, too much too much girls back to back. But at the same time, I kind of get what Nate's saying because at the end of the day, we paying rent there. So, I was like, we could do it. Nigga, you ain't going to tell me I can bring, I can or can't bring a woman in the house and we all living here and I'm 
using my coin. That's Anything crazy. We won't. If That's it, absolutely so crazy. I, I kind of get what he's saying though. But it was at a he point should have addressed that. Focus and grind, and you know, yeah. But I get what he's saying though. We could grind. It, it, it's it, it's time. It's basically it's times for everything. You feel me? You know, it's when we're gonna record. It's time for that. You know what I'm saying? When we're bringing like girls Excuse and stuff me. to party or have a kid, a little get back or stuff like that. It's time for that. So it's time for everything. You feel me? So yeah, I kind of. I get, feel him on that too. He should. They should at least gave a um. A time frame is that's the, if that's the case. I kind of get what he's saying too. You feel me, bro? Twelve hundred a month. I have to go to a nigga and ask him, please, can I invite someone over? It came to a point I had to lie to say this is my family member, just so to, so so just so a person could come over, bro. Like why the fuck I have to lie for someone to come over, bro? I ain't gonna lie. That's the worst part about having a roommate company. Worst part. What the. Fuck? Bruh. But towards the end of that situation, he came to me, apologized. He said, "My bad, my fault, this and that." He admitted that he had anger. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. We always, we always doing it. You feel me? We always doing it. You know what I'm saying? We always doing it. But it was, it was, it was to a point. You know, I don't know, man. You feel me? Issues that he needed help. Whatever, Woody. But I wasn't never tripping on Nate. I wasn't. Not tripping on it. It was just the way, you know, it was, it was just the way, you know, people talk, you know, you got you just gotta have respect, you feel me? Yeah. You know, LB son, I, I, let's just watch the video. Bro. Ooh, I forgave him, bro. Whatever, bro. I deaded it. I just told the nigga, don't ever do shit like that again. Cause you're not my father, fam. But whatever. He apologized for that situation. Boom. We moved on. Whatever. Cool. But then here comes a second reason, bro. This man Sid and Suave had a two man. The man Suave brought a two men, two girls At the to the hardest crib, Carson, you leveled so up him and Sid could do whatever, whatever. Him. You know what I'm saying? They had a two man. Prior to that two man, they had end up switching, and then towards y'all are seeing King Sid video. I was kind of lost because I thought he was saying Call a Kid had a two man, but it was Suave. Okay. During that situation, that's when Sid done cuffed the two men. Listen, I'm not going to judge facts, what a that's nigga facts. do with that's a girl, facts. I'm not but gonna lie about like that. I said again, hey, just a two That's facts, bro. That's facts. So I've been, hey look, so I've been with two men and, you know, they, they and I, so let, me, let, me, let me put it down to y'all. So I've been with two men, um, and then Nate, I mean, not Nate, Suave and Sid end up switching girls, so Suave girl wanted Sid, so Sid end up fucking with Suave girl, the girl he brought over, and then from there, I'm thinking, and that's around, I think that was around March, I think, you feel me? And, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, you know, you know, just for the moment, like, bro, for the crush, you know, get shorty out the way, but it wasn't that, you feel me? He was actually, he was fucking with her, you feel me? He was fucking with her on some shit, you feel me? But yeah, man. Two man, I don't, that's not, but listen to the story though. All right, we finna go react to that. We finna react I'm just letting y'all know this the two men. If y'all did not realize who the girl was, this is the girl that I'm talking about. The girl named Kenzie. Bro, she was getting exposed on group chats. I'd go up to Sid, I'd be like, yo, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro, she, she everywhere right now, bro. Like, everybody talking about her, they, they got sex tapes of her. Damn. It's just crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. She was originally a, just a two man that was originally supposed to be for Suave, but it ended up as Sid, and they just mad. Tight, 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 tight. You feel me? It was for Suave, and you know Sid. You know Sid. I mean Suave end up. Suave girl end up going to you know woot the woot. Uh -huh. Going to Sid. Woot the woot. She got uh -huh. together. She started living with us out of nowhere the next week. You get what I'm saying? I had no issues with the girl. Nothing like that. I had no problem. She was living with us. Boom. This and that. But then yeah, she was she was she was around for a minute, man. Like all my, even bro, even even my dog. You know we ain't got one. But that one is a small one. Oh, the white one. Come up to me like they'll be like, yo, why sit sit messing with this girl for who the who? Me, I'm like, man, shit. Kenzie bad ASS. That's none of my that's none of my <laughs> problem. Kenzie bad as, as, as long as my you know, as long as bro happy, you feel me? That's none of my problem. You know what I'm saying? But everybody was like, why he care? Why he keep? Why he you know why he um keeping her around and woo -woo -woo. it's all type of shit, man. But at the end of the day, that wasn't that wasn't my problem, bro. I was just trying to you know 
grind, you know, stay out the drama, you know, stuff like that. During the time she was living with us, that's when stuff was being found out about mm -hmm. her. They were finding out she was doing like crazy drugs. Yeah, she was she recently was with just with the rapper before she even met with yeah, she Sid. Was, I'm not and she lie, basically, she was doing that basically saying she just ran through like a whole bunch of niggas done got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was doing that too, though, bro. You feel me? Okay. Feel that's why he fucked up. I don't care now. She. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not niggas say like... bad. Like, uh, he said, I don't care. She bad. Yo, that was her business. And that was his business that he wanted to wife a thought. That's okay. That's what he wanted to do. I don't understand why everybody was jumping in that. <laughs> uh, she bad. Yeah, she bad and all that at the end of the day, bro. What he's saying right now is it, facts, you feel me? That is, that was suave emotion. Suave was about to fuck, you know. They but suave, they, they switched. Okay. You know, damn near about to cuff her. Damn near about to cuff the girl. I thought he did. <laughs> with her right the man said pulls me aside about the girl and basically was telling me everything i just recently just told you about the drugs about okay. who she was just with this and that how she's a whole all types of stuff and he's asking me what should he do and i told him i said listen fam you know who you are you know what type of person you is you know you should not be around these type of girls the man told me himself that he was gonna go inside and kick the girl out i kid you not 30 to 40 minutes later, the man just ends up cuddling with the girl. Like I said before, people, I don't care what a guy do with a girl, but hey, that's just your... See, me, I'm a real nigga, y'all. I'm gonna keep it real to the max, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie about nothing, you feel me? Certain shit that he's saying, if I'm not around it, I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm not I'm not a fucking yes man. I'm not gonna talk about it. I was in there, I ain't gonna talk about it, you feel me? But, it's certain shit he's saying right now, I could, you know, stand up and be like, yeah, that's true, and all that, all that, you feel me? So let's watch this all the way. Business. Down. This was started becoming the issue, though. We had a magic show video, right? Before the magician started, the ma magician came to me and said, listen, before I get started, I want you to tell everybody that's behind me to move away from me when I'm doing the magic tricks. I don't want nobody behind me when I do the magic tricks. So I went to everybody that was behind him when he was doing the magic tricks. I said, yo, before we get started, he don't want you behind you. I went to every different person. Then I went to her. I went to her. Right. I literally said the same thing when I told everybody. I said, yo, he don't want nobody behind him when he does the magic trick. This girl starts being like, oh, my God, leave me alone. Why are you bothering me? Uh, why are you coming to me and telling me I'm not going to listen to what you do? Like, starts being... And then, I remember, I remember, I remember that part. I remember that part. And then, it was like, like, we was looking at it like, not we, I mean, Sid was looking at it like, he thought, he thought, he basically thought, Nate was bothering her, like was playing around and stuff like that. But uh -huh. I don't know. I think Sid ended up getting mad and yeah. Being a spoiled brat out of nowhere, bro. Bro, start causing a whole scene. Then this nigga, Sid, Mr. Captain Save a uh -huh. wanna save this girl yeah, like, oh, yeah. why you bother her? This yeah. and that, leave her alone, this and that, get away from her. You don't even like her, you don't listen that. You said all types of things about her. I'm like, bro, what? Fam, you just met the like two weeks ago. I ain't gonna lie, King Sid admitted to being a lover boy, so uh, <laughs> is what it is. Now you all like, you feel me? Yeah, it you was crazy. just came to me. Imagine you just came to me about the bitch, right? You told me about the bitch saying all this type of stuff about the bitch. You was about to kick the bitch outside your house. Now all of a sudden you defending the bitch. That was the issue I started to have with him. He's defending this girl after talking so much behind her back about towards me finding all this about this girl, right? How she's ran through, how she does serious drugs, how she been with this and that much people, yet you're protecting this girl, right? After just knowing her for yeah. two weeks, bro. So when she starts causing the commotion to sit, the man said, did all that, bro, I, bro, I kid you not, when he started snapping on me about that, I didn't even snap on him. I said, you know what, I'm not gonna go do this video. I Passive aggressive uh, shit will not work out in friendships. Don't ever be passive aggressive with your friends. If you don't like some shit and you really don't like that shit and you feel like they tried you, either be ready to throw them ones or be ready to cuss a nigga out, period. Y'all don't learn nothing from me, learn that. Passive aggression is the quickest way to fall out with, a, with somebody. I walked up and got up, I went to my room, bro. Cause I'm like, bro, there's no way you're defending this after you just came to me about this right oh uh, that's when jeff and suave came in my room and just like nate just do the video f all that bullshit just knock out the video and this and that feel me yeah i so remember i remember all right i could speak about that i remember because when we was doing that video the magic video bullshit video right 
I put up bread for that video. You feel me? I'm gonna I'm keep it real. On everything right. I love right now, I put bread. I put in bread for for that video. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I put a bread for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it was like it got it got too toxic. It basically got too toxic. Like um, like he said, you know, said thought yep. he was bothering her. Said snap on Nate. You know, you know, call the names and shit. Just snap on bro. You feel me? So bro got mad. You know, Nate got mad and went upstairs. He said he's not doing the video no more. And Nate went up going upstairs. You feel me? Right. And yeah, you feel me? And then we was like, we was on some shit like, man, it's not that serious. Y'all boys, I was on some shit like, man, I cannot be, I can't be arguing about no hoe, bro. Let's grind, you know? Let's put out content for the supporters. Let's keep going crazy. You know what I'm saying? But it was all, it was about a hoe. Like, you know, keeping that, like, that, that hoe around. Like, that was, that was, that was a two man. You feel me? That was, that was suave hoe at that. That was suave hoe. You know what I'm saying? That was suave hoe, bro. That's when I just went back downstairs and just continued. So, like, they are, it's basically they arguing over Suave Ho. But technically, this ain't Suave Ho, though, because they switched. So, are they, the girl that was with Suave, are they saying that, that that's King Sid Ho? <laughs> you know, niggas speak a different language. I know I dress like one, but we ain't the same. So, I, I don't know. Basically, <laughs> do the video. Bro, Peep Game. Yeah, like you could, you feel me? Type shit. In my face, I was so I'm on some shit, like man. Let, uncomfortable. Let, 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 let get this shit done, bro. Getting of the video, bro. I was literally uncomfortable in the beginning of the video. That's how you know before the video, I was so uncomfortable. And Pete Game as well. Notice how that's the last video of the channel. Nah, hell nah, hell nah. I'm not with C's no more, bro. That's my word. That's the crazy thing. I make that word. C's, I make that, homie. <laughs> We That's know. my word, bro. Well, we know I was that. saying that back in 2016, 17, bro. I made that word, you feel me? So, I'm out the group, but you feel me? But that's my word, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm out the group because it's like, man, I don't want to explain my story. Up. It's just I'm like, let's, let's watch this shit, bro. Like, for that. I know, right? Literally. Now, that y'all know, bro. I'm not in a group, bro. Like, I don't mess with none of these niggas, bro. Like, I don't mess with them niggas, bro. Like, you feel me? Uh -huh. I was uncomfortable with the video because what transpired before that before the video even started people that's the last video But I'm gonna get to that right so after when the video started That's when the nigga said started talking like oh you doing all this and that he had to do that this and that This and that you want to be a cry baby this and that so I, I started snapping at the nigga I said listen, bro You bringing this into this house that we paying you bills for fam. you just met the you want to be captain saver you talk you just we just got done talking shit about the you just got done talking the shit about the now you protecting the bitch. Now you wanna be all all like oh you wanna be Captain Saber. Da, 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 da. Man, fuck you and fuck the bitch too. I literally said that to their face. Bear. We started arguing. We was not talking to each other for like a couple of days in the house. That's when one day when everybody was at a crib, they was drinking this and that, having like a little getty whatever downstairs. That's when everybody was just like, yo, y'all boys Nate should make up, this and that. Uh -huh. That's when he... Keep it real, though, you know? Every time, Nate, he'll dead ass keep it real. Like, he'll be like, nah, bro, we're not doing this nah, bro. Like, he'll keep it real, you feel me? Listen, I would have been Nate of the house. Everybody would have been ready to kick me out because I got to say something. Have y'all ever wanted to say something, didn't, and it burned your ass inside to the point where, like, you felt like you were sick? You know what I'm saying? I don't do that no more. Oh, I'm gonna say it. Whether you like it or not, you can get the fuck too. You know what I mean? Oh, but I'm gonna say my piece. Oh, nah, I, all that. I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna, I'm on my ass. You say that shit and say it with your chest. You know? To my room, knocked on my door. That's when he just forced himself through my door because I always keep my door locked. He was forcing himself through the door is crazy. Just like, listen, Nate, I'm sorry. I apologize. This and that. Let's not fall off. Fall over about no bitch, about no hoe, this and that. But it's just like, bro. Go watch the second video, fam. It took you now to realize that, bro? Like, after all the days I passed, and remind you, people, the days I was passing, he was still being petty. But the man, once again, he came to apologize. So he apologized for the situation that he tried to be my f***ing daddy. Now he apologized for the situation that he's trying to protect this girl, this and that, saying his bro's over right? So he apologized. Like I said, I ain't gonna hold a grudge, better. but I'm not gonna forget what the f*** just happened, right? That went by, right? The last two reasons basically sums up why I stopped with bro. The third reason why, bro, here's the third reason what happened that transpired prior to living with bro, right? So we had got a boat after a video they done shot, right? After the video, they said they were going to have a boat, okay? Everybody that was part of the crew 
what's on the boat and we have brought girls. I brought my own girl to the boat. Everyone else brought their own girls to the boat. Sid brought the same girl that, you know, feel yeah. me, that being Captain Sable. Bro, she was around for a minute, bro. It would be time to be like, damn, bro, this 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 was a this a hoe right here. She just got done fucking nothing, nigga. And you all up on her now. Like, damn. I'm thinking like what I'm thinking sit doing. What I hey, look, what I'm thinking sit doing, I'm thinking, you know, bro. Poor her right now. I know she is distraught. And he pee like you feel me, he crushing her, you know, that's it. And you know, pass it. That's it. You feel me? Whole time she been around the whole time, like bro, like why is she around, bro? Why, bro? She's literally a, a groupie, bro. So, uh, y'all think that's a problem that he decided to be with? You know what thought? Y'all think that's a problem? And would y'all have said something to your boy? And if he said, "All right, nigga, I'm still gonna fuck with it," would y'all have left it alone? You know what I mean? Same girl. You feel me? To the boat, right? Fast forward, everybody vibing, chilling on the boat, whatever, this and that. The captain comes and get me and tells me, yo, your boy's tripping. At first, I don't even know what he's talking about, bro. The captain comes to me, the captain of the boat, and say, yo, come get your boy, he's tripping. So I said, okay, uh, point me to where is that? Okay, I'm walking over. The captain brings me to where the situation has happened, saying my boy's tripping. And Zoe he was watch talking, the when I bit. came to the situation... I'm gonna watch the second video after this. I'm gonna watch the second video after this, though. But y'all, y'all go ahead and share this live, though. Share this live to everybody. Share y'all Instagram. Share y'all share this live, man. It was Sid, the girl, and the girl that I invited. They were all arguing. So I was trying to kind of hold on. Oh. Right. I will walk off. What was going on? So I was trying to peep game. Was go what was going on? I was trying to peep game, bro. The man said, prior to where I'm trying to listen to the argument and see, like, what the fuck is going on, the man said, lunges his hand towards the girl neck that I invited. He lunges his hand towards the girl neck. Bro, oh. I kid you not, I started spazzing, kid. Cause All right. you're lunging your... now, fam. I'm going I'm to hey, look, 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 look. keep it real. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it real. I didn't get to see. I didn't, I'm going I'm to keep it real on everything I love. No cross We wait on the real. Okay. I'm going to keep it real, bro. I did not, I did not see, or I did not see, I did not see Sid, uh, what's his name? I did not see Sid doing that. I heard, but I did not, I'm gonna keep it real, I did not see him do it, hit it or none of that, but I heard, I just heard Nate getting mad. Nate like, what the fuck? Nigga, you ain't doing none of that. No, bro, 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 bro you ain't putting it in no girls. You ain't doing none of that. Like, Nate getting hot. I'm like, damn, he talking about, I'm telling her. I'm like, damn. I'm like, Nate supposed to be on top, but. He really mad, like, so, like, you feel me? But I wasn't there when, when, when that happened, though. But I was just hearing it. I was on a boat. I'm drunk as hell. I'm hearing it. I'm hearing it. I'm like, damn. I'm like, what the fuck going on? I'm standing up. I'm, I, I, I'm just drunk as hell, like, like, you feel me? On some drunk shit. But I'm hearing Nate snapping, 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 snapping. And I heard Nate, I mean, Sid end up throwing up. And that, that, um, that groupie girl he had, that, that groupie he had around, around him was trying to help him, but he was throwing up, throwing up. Hell around. yeah, keep it P fam. You feel me? Throwing around. But I'm gonna keep it real. I did not see it. I'm not gonna dick where I'm not on nobody's side. You feel me? I'm not on Nate's side. I'm not on Sid's side. None of that. I'm just seeing, I'm just telling y'all a part of my story and what I experienced. You feel me? But I'm gonna keep it real though, bro. I did hear Nate snapping though. You feel me? I did hear Nate snapping, but I did not see, you know, Sid putting, you know, his hand on her. You feel me? I did not hear no punching. I ain't hear shit, you feel me? But all I hear is Nate snapping, you feel me? He probably did, though. I probably didn't get to see it. You feel me? I probably didn't get to see it. But I don't know, you feel me? I did not see that happen, you feel me? I was drunk as hell. Jason. I was drunk, I was drunk as hell. Anything about J1. I was just, I was just, bro, I wonder, bro, like, we all want to talk about, bro, bro like, shit. I am invited? You putting your hands on a girl on top of that, fam? Hell no, fam. I started snapping, I started, I was about, I ain't gonna lie, I was about to just, you feel me? Cause I'm just like, no way you just do that. Anything about Wonder, bro. Wonder he just be at the end of the day, y'all know he's gonna be in Sid's side, bro. He gonna dick ride Sid to the end until until he can't ride no more, bro. Damn. You feel me? Listen, people, I don't condone that bull. You feel me? You could be my dog, you could be my close friend, you could be my brother, fam. What you not finna do is put no hands on no female. I don't condone that bull. I ain't on that shit. Listen, I know whatever happened transpiring the past with Sid and Diamond, and I'm not trying to bring Diamond into this, but you feel me? At the time when that situation had happened, 
I wasn't even around that, and I asked, bro. I said, listen, Damn, did you do happened? it? Yes or no? Bro told me no, so I'm just like, you know what? Bro, you know what it is, bro? Niggas is not humble, bro. Not humble. You gotta be humble, bro. I be feeling like when niggas get too much money and too much clock, bro, they let that shit get to their head, bro. Like, they probably... Nigga fell out fast. <laughs> they probably they pride be up too. Like, they probably be like, you feel me? So, like, man, at the end of the day, bro... Whatever, bro. I will say, when these niggas be surpassing like 100,000 a month, they just lose their shit. I <laughs> like... Niggas be losing their shit. And I ain't even gonna tell y'all how much I'm getting a month, but I'ma just say, you'll never see it. I don't have I don't have time for that shit, nigga. Like for what? For what? What I will say is uh them comments hit different when you making a when you making a good amount of money, them comments hit different because you do be wanting to be like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You get that what? But not with no team. Not with no team. If you looking out for me and I'm looking out for you, I'm not even finna play with you. And if I have more money than you, I'm going to make sure you're good. People that's with you can actually make you way more money when they're getting more money. When you try and play them and get all the money for yourself, you play yourself. Dumb shit to me, but whatever. Let's watch this shit, bro. I wasn't there when that happened. I don't see it, but... It's crazy because this nigga Nate... He ain't gonna lie, Nate not lying though. Like, I wasn't expect I was not expecting Nate to go on the internet and do this. I ain't gonna lie, he's speaking this stuff he's saying, he right though. I ain't gonna lie. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie, he keeping it real though. Give me one of them chicken dinner. But the hitting part said hitting her, I ain't see that. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't see that. You feel me? But I did hear Nate snapping. Yo, what the fuck? What the fuck? I wasn't there to see it, so I can't say yes or no. You feel damn me? Damn, yeah, be thin. I wasn't there to see it. You feel me? Hey, 30 yeah. goddamn. But you feel me? Yeah, man. For me to witness this shit right in front of me in my fucking face, fam. No, I was heated, fam. I was heated. Prior to me yelling at this nigga, this and that, bro. The man, all of a sudden, he would just pass no, out, jump, really. start throwing up, this and that. But remind you, that don't give you excuse to put your hands on a girl just because you drunk, whatever, this and that, bro. What and happened? And the girl that uh, he, the nigga, girl that listen, it, shut up. Was, Basically, man, Nate talking about Sid, you know, doing doing him wrong and. Stuff like that, just watching, man. So heated, bro. Like, she was just saying all types of crazy shit. She's gonna call police or, you feel me, oh, yeah, or yeah, bring yeah. someone to handle Sid, this and that. And I'm just oh, trying yeah, to calm yeah, her yeah, down. Yeah, but remember. prior to me trying to calm her down, uh, other niggas that was on Sid's side, Sid doing you feel the me, D-Rod and Sid was like, bro, it's nothing. Let her vibe out, bro. Everybody's just drunk. No, nigga. This girl's sober, kid. You feel me? This girl is sober, bro. You feel me? So whatever, the situation died down. The captain was just like, you know what, just cool it. Shout out to Nate taking up for women. Ew. You feel me? I don't want no problem. This Ain't night. nobody else trying to do it. The police coming to the boat. Because already, we was already illegal anyway because we had too much people on the boat. So we can't even make it too hot, bro. You feel me? So prior after the boat situation, right? You feel me? Yeah, yeah. The house was quiet, bro. The house was quiet after the boat situation. It was two days. The house was quiet. Remind you, I barely be at the crib anyway because I'm handling my other business besides YouTube. I got a photography business, so I'm barely at the crib. So after two days, barely at the crib, I came back to the crib. Then a nigga said, came to my room after the boat situation. The man literally came to me and told me, listen, bro, the reason why I did what I did is because... Oh, I felt like she was following from the last boat. I felt like she was following me. She was doing too much. Everywhere I go, she go, this and that. So if if, the, if that situation were to happen, I would even mind spitting on the girl. Oh, fam, let me just man. stop y'all right there. Uh, it's fam, the let fact me just... that you knew what you did and you're saying that you would do it again due to the fact that you felt like this girl was following you, this and that, on type, all types of shit, right? Fam, that's how sick it is. Remind you, I told y'all this nigga was drunk. But the nigga knew what the f he did, fam. You know what Damn. I'm saying? So when he told me that, it's like, I could have got into an argument with him. I just started laughing. I was just like, you're unbelievable, bro. No way you're f telling me this. Like you were saying, like, I would have spit on the bitch, I would have slapped <coughs> I don't give a f type shit. You feel me? Unbelievable, kid. After that situation, I just went ghost, bro. I'm basically living in a house, just paying rent and avoiding these niggas at this point. Because it's like, bro, I'm done with I'm the- like, the house is so- It was so toxic, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, bro. It was toxic, bro. Let me keep it real. I would have just took my ass back to my mama house. And the craziest shit is, you were thinking a house full of men, it ain't even that deep. 
And y'all over there, you know, respectfully, don't come for me, but y'all fight like some girls. Uh, <laughs> real shit. No. Bullshit, fam. Number one, you try to act like my daddy. Number two, you trying to protect the that you just was talking shit about me with, this and that. Now you being Captain Sable about a bitch talking shit. <laughs> Towards me, now you wanna protect the girl off of a tool man, off of another nigga face. She was about to have sex with our, an, another one of our homeboys, but y'all switch off a of tool man you're protecting on top of that. And third, you're putting your hands on females that I know, like what, nigga? Like, bro, I'm yeah, just done with this, shit, fam. So, you know what? I'm just y'all would never. I gotta change my hat. Never catch me putting hands on a girl, bro. I had girls that hit me. Spit on me. I never in my life put a hand on a girl, bro. Cause I'ma feel guilty. I'ma feel like a lame if I ever do something. Spit on you is crazy. I would have to kick her in the lip. Some shit like that. Like I got my my mama raised me right, so I'm not the type to put my hands on a girl. You feel me? I might yell and curse you out and all that, but I ain't gonna put my hands on you, bro. Real shit. You Just paying the bills, living, doing a. I gotta do get this money, cause Take at the end of the day, bro, you not finna phase me about getting this money and this group. Cause at the end of the day, bro, he got a girl spitting on you is crazy. I think about it. the way I'm gonna look at it. Like if I put my hands on her, bro, imagine somebody put a hand on. Imagine I end up having a daughter, and they do that to my daughter. So it's like, and I respect that shit. However, let daughter know, don't ever spit on no nobody. Oh, that's crazy. I would have had to teach her a lesson that day. Right now, I can't. <laughs> I can't do that. You feel me? Cause whatever spit is crazy. Happened, I'm flabbergasted. Whatever happened at the yo, whatever happened in the dark won't come to the light. You feel me? So I ain't gonna sure. try to put my hands on no girl. I ain't gonna do that. You That's true. Imagine when you end up having a, a daughter and a nigga doing that to your daughter. Imagine how you gonna feel. You feel me? So I feel him on that. Now, bro. It's out of control in the first place, cause it's. But like I said, I could get so deep into the group. Shit. Right now, it's on. Right now, it's about you, bro. I'm gonna I'm say the group shit for another video, fam. I, I'm gonna break that down perfectly. Right now, it's about you, bro. So prior to when I'm not talking, this and that, I'm just vibing. Like I'm barely, I'm in and out the house. Barely even sleeping there, whatever, voiding these niggas, stop talking yeah, to these niggas. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, it was times I, like, I couldn't even, like, stay over there, bro. It was too much, like, you know, damn. shit going on, bro. Like, too much, like, like, I don't know, it was just too much, bro. The way niggas, all right, let's watch this shit. need to break from these niggas type, <laughs> right? Remind you, I'm still paying rent, bro. So, that's when the month of May came in, bro. I'm talking about we're two weeks in, I already paid my 1200 bro. I paid my 1200 I'm barely there, you feel me? Most, all my stuff is there, but I'm paying, you feel me? Bro, the middle of the month, the man puts me in the group chat, right? The man puts me in the group chat and basically was like, by the, towards the end of this, the month that I just recently paid for, May, towards the end of this month, everybody have to move out. I just broke the lease. Everybody get out. Do what you got to do. Yeah, Go find confused. your own place to stay, this and that. I canceled the lease, fam. I was like, damn, I'm paying all this. Fam. Oh, damn, man. He vouching for it, too. Uh, that's crazy because he could have gave him a warning at least. It's us. It's at least a sixty day notice. I just paid you fucking rent, and now you're telling me you're canceling the lease, bro? Nah, he not lying though. He not angle that's facts. That's facts. He, Damn. You know, you know, bro I did end up making a group chat and tell everybody to move out. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? It was that deep. This literally happened over a a a a, a girl swiping so brung over, bro. Like, what? <laughs> you can't put your, you can't put a hole over your dogs or day ones. You feel me? But I'm like, damn, man. Everybody think different, man. Yeah. What the fuck did you even came up with that idea, bro? Where did you what, came at one point, up with you that idea? You could have came to me as a man and told me, listen, bro, I'm about to cancel the lease because I felt like we this and that. Like you just did this shit out of being petty, out of spite. Now not only you fucking with me, you fucking with my money, fam. That's what you really got me fucked up at, bro. I pay, I pay this man 1200 bro. 1200 bro. Remind you, when I'm paying this man, I don't even know how much the bills are. I don't know how much. I don't see the no type of paperwork because everything's under this man's name. I didn't even sign no contract to even live with, bro. Bro just said, come move in. I paid the cheese. When money was due, pay. Simple. But it's a fact. That's facts, though. I ain't gonna lie. We did, up, and we did end up paying, you know, we did up end up paying, then nigga, a couple of days later, we got to move out. So it was like, yeah. That's like, crazy. That you I'm not being no yes, man. I'm keeping it real. He's speaking facts. You broke the lease. I thought I paid you two weeks later. You want to break the lease, bro. You talk about towards the end of the month, it's time to everybody get out, bro. 
That's what you really got me f***ed up at. So when he did that, I kind of told bro, I said, listen, bro, whatever you got going on, whatever type of beef you have towards me, this and that, whatever type of... Y'all got finesse. Yo, I'm live. Shut up. Do you hear me? Yes. That should be real, boy. I'm John D. If you have, keep that p. Let me know, bro. You gotta let me know about this. You cannot you, listen. You gotta have an understanding in your house. That's something else about staying with other people. Y'all, these Lorvays, by the way. That's something about staying with other people and like, uh, you trying to do your live and shit. <laughs> gotta have an understanding in the crib. Got to. Thank God I stay with my own family. And on top of that, you owe me money then. Because I'm not going to pay for a month. I have to move out. Imagine you pay rent, then you have to move out. Who in the fuck? Aguilar, that's facts. That's facts, bro. I mean, I mean shit, me, I was hesitating to get the money. I was hesitating. I was like, damn. Should I? Should I? Don't. Should I? Should I? Don't. Should I? I'm like, damn, man. Let me do it. Because I'm knowing, you know, I agree moving in with them. So I'm like, damn, man. Let me just give him the money. You feel me? Yeah, man. Fuck it. You feel me? Yeah, man. And then again, bro, Sid is like, you know, he was he was my favorite. He was Sid was my favorite YouTuber, bro. But being around, bro, though, bro. Fuck pay Never go around your idols. <sighs> so many lessons that I learned going through bullshit. 30s is bait. And 30s is great. I know y'all feel like it's old and shit, but ooh, I don't miss none of this. None of these. It's <laughs> rent to move out. We know it's you fast because you want that. I had to learn it in the beginning of my thirties as well. Like that was the last little bit of I. Right, I don't need this lesson again. <laughs> in your old so setup, listen, bro. <clears throat> I told the man, "You owe me money, fam. You owe me twelve hundred. The man said, "I lost money too, part of this." At Big Mac, so, you're not three, getting your money back to level two. What? I don't owe you shit, this and that. I said, "You know what, bro." Bet, bro. I ain't really pressed about it. This and that. So you know what? It, but at the time when he, as soon as he told me that, I came to a realization. I was just like, bro, listen. You know what? It makes a lot of sense, bro. F this nigga, bro. At that point, I already automatically put in my head F this nigga. He done size me. He tried to treat me like a fucking daddy. The nigga put hold holes over bros of a two man off of a random bitch that was about to have sex with Suave. Facts. And on top of that, you put your head. Facts. On my he did, but bro, bro did end up, you know what I'm saying? Fucking with Suave on um, motion. Home girl, fam. That I can't forgive you about that. From you thought I was gonna let that shit slide, bro. You put your hands on my home girl, bro. So I said, bet, bro. After that, bro. He basically pushed the date earlier to move out. Y'all gotta get y'all shit out. Not even towards the end of the, the month. It's like he shifted the date now. I have literally four days to fucking move out, bro. After he said that, bro, it just, I got heated because yeah. why the f the date done changed from the end of the month to now earlier? Now I have to speed up my process. I have to spend cheese. I got to find time to take all my sh after I just paid rent, bro. Money don't just come out my fucking ass. Money don't grow on trees. I'm not a rich nigga, but it's like. Money's not being played with and unnecessary, video better. unnecessary money was being spent. Because literally, when you have your... Sid is a rich nigga. He shouldn't have did all that. Mindset on what your bills are laid out, what you're about to pay, and this and that. It's like, on what you're about to invest. It's like, okay, I know what this month comes. But out of nowhere, all this random shit comes due to the fact this nigga want to be petty, fam. So, bro, I started snapping on, bro, through text. And then prior to when we were arguing, the nigga talking about something he made. Yeah, bro. Steve's is my shit, bro. Everybody know I make that. Everybody on my day ones know I make that. People that be around me know I make that. So, like... Me, bro. So, I'm like, bro, who the f*** you made? He shouldn't have never let him take Steve's. That's hey, crazy. Now you got me really f***ed up. So, then, to a point where we was arguing so much through text, the man dropped this addy. He was at my barber. I pulled up quick. I pulled up with my boy. I went over there. Long story short, we just ended up fighting, bro. Prior to when we were fight, I basically got jumped because I literally pinned this nigga down, and then this nigga Wonder came out of nowhere and started hitting me in the head, bro. All right, like, for that, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't there. I think I was shooting a video. I was doing a video at that time. But I wasn't there, though. But, you know, it Sid and Wonder did that end up telling me the story. You feel me? But I wasn't there. Though. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm not gonna dick Damn. ride. I'm not gonna dick ride nobody. I'm not gonna dick ride Sid. I'm not gonna dick ride Nate. 
I'm not, I'm not on nobody, you know, side. You feel me? But they did up and they they did end up fighting. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie, they did up end up fighting. And they end up end up pulling up, you know, yeah. Like trying to knock me off this nigga, bro. Remind you, all I did was pin the nigga sit down. <laughs> this is a me and Sid argument. This nigga wonder come out of nowhere talking about some get off the Sid, get off the Sid, get off the Sid. After that situation. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 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 that nigga laugh look like it hurt. Get up! It was at my barber. <laughs> Not I pulled funny. up quick. I pulled up with my boy. I went over there. Long story <laughs> short, we just ended up fighting, bro. Prior to when we were fight, I basically got jumped because I literally pinned this nigga down, and then this nigga wonder came out of nowhere. Start get up a sit. Get up a sit. Get up a sit. <laughs> Get up with my daddy. Get up with my daddy's head. Get up with, shut the fuck up, nigga. This is a one-on-one -on -one fight, nigga. Started hitting me in the head, bro. Like trying to knock me off this nigga, bro. Remind Yo, you, all I do is get the nigga sit down. This is a me and Sid argument. This nigga wonder. It's facts. Man, wild. Facts. You hear me? But niggas want to fight me, though. Come on, man. <laughs> Come out of nowhere talking about some get off the Sid, get off the Sid, get off the Sid. After that situation happened, call my homeboy Jeff, who's part of the group as well. Oh, Basically, I called him, let him know what happened. Basically, Jeff was just like, bro, what the f bro? We all homeboys. Y'all should get y'all one on one. We shouldn't be jumping. Yeah. We went to go get Jeff. We pulled up to the f gas station because they were still there right next to the barbershop. We pulled up and Jeff hopped out the car saying, yo, listen, I know we, we are going to. Here's one thing you need to this do before crazy. buying Yo, it. Yo, I cannot believe this boy put two, one ad. And I'm talking about uh, Nate. I hope that ain't what happened. It's Anything crazy because don't you speak at facts, bro. Probably, some of y'all probably think that shit fake. This shit real as fuck. Yo fam is yo cousin. Another dime on I ain't gonna lie, I seen fake because all y'all making a video right now. It's like everybody's like, oh, bet. I can make mine now. You Amazon, mean, until you watch this first. You speak at watch facts, this. though. I ain't gonna lie. This now, but we got... I ain't gonna lie. They saying everything that happened, though. I ain't gonna lie. It's shit that he said I wasn't there, so yeah, man. But this, this but most of the part I was there. Hey, yeah. It's, Tell him it's this, like, man, know that jumping shit. Everybody get their one on ones. To make a long story short, the nigga says spits on Jeff, then took took off, bro. Them boys got camera footage. Oh my god, that's how real is it? <laughs> that's how. Hey, look, that this is this is how real is it, bro? They got camera footage. This is how real is it? God. Lil. Shit. Camera footage and all, man. Yeah, that boy want to fight. See how I many this shit? See how I many this nigga phase? Look at this shit, bro. That boy trying to fight. Jeff was hot. Oh, that's when the girl got out the car Facts to go tell got real Sid, recipients. I think. <laughs> Is Jeff for your cousin? Nah, Jeff? Nah, that's not my cousin. Is that uh, Nate back there? Nate, Nate, was, he ran. Nate hey, was scared. What, what other kid ran for, uh... What other kid Why ran? the hell Nate way back there, though? Right I probably here, think right I'm right not looking at it. Right I, right right I, right right I could look at it here. I could look at it here. Oh, he went up there. Okay. I'm like, Nate, why you so far back? I'm looking at it. You see me picture? I feel like he hiding, whoa. He hiding the whole time. See? Yeah. He hiding in the car, whoa. Now look, 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 look. Look at this one, EJ. Look. <laughs> it's crazy though. This shit true though. His, uh, see? 100 view. See, I flinch again. I'm trying to hit his ass. Uh, it's crazy. Then he spit on me. You see that? You see what happened? You spit see is out, out of control. Wall? Hey man, go with the camera, man. Go with the camera, man. We need to get this camera. Right. <laughs> I ain't gonna That's lie, y'all. Spit girl. is crazy. Sid had around. That's the groupie girl, and this sit right here. Oh, okay. his girl came and got him. So basically, all this shit happened over, literally over a girl, bro. Damn, man. Nah, that's Damn, man. crazy. It's supposed to be dog. It's supposed to be bros over hoes, man. You feel me? You supposed to get this money, stack this money. Sid watching. Feed our family, bro. 
I don't give a fuck who watching, homie. I don't give a fuck. Who, but I don't give a fuck if still watching, bro. I don't give a fuck. Oh, At Broward Junkie, you leveled up to level one. The girl came and got him. They scared. Damn. They scared. Oh my god, they scared. Yeah, that camera. Oh shit. <laughs> this shit yeah, crazy. Nigga <laughs> fell in <laughs> love <laughs> with a swoop. <laughs> JWNDR pearly rinding his dick RN. Nigga fell in love. What's a swoop? Duh, that's how it shit, is. The shit. They gonna dick ride whoever popping, bro. They gonna dick ride whoever got motion, bro. I'm a real solid nigga, bro. I'm real pressure. Writing. I'm gonna keep it real. You feel me? I ain't dick riding nobody. At a point, yeah, still was my favorite YouTuber. I look up to bro. You feel me on some shit like, nigga, it'll be times, nigga. Oh, it'll be times, it'll be times, bro. Like, niggas will talk shit about shit, bro. Like, that'll be my dog, bro. Like, like, day one shit, you feel me? On some shit. Not day one shit, but like, looked at him as my favorite YouTuber, but nah. Now it's like hell nah, bro. It's like when we be around niggas, bro, you gonna peep who they, they true I colors. I know. You feel me? They, you gonna peep their true colors, bro. Hey, I think I'm out there right now, ain't it? Oh yeah, they hear they hear people this shit. Yeah. What's this? What's this? What's this? Fuck niggas, spit on me. Look, he right there. You standing on top of the car. Fam be changing PPL DOS Y fam. I'm telling you, bro, n niggas start getting motion, bro, start getting all this fame and all this and cloud fame. and all this. It boosts their ego and get to their head, bro. I'm not on that timing, bro. I'm a real humble ass nigga, bro. You feel me? Hell yeah. I'm real ass. You don't think, niggas don't think I don't got nothing, bro. I'm a humble ass nigga. I'm not, let's watch this shit, bro. Let's, let's watch this shit. Shit, stand on top of the car. Ah! Yo, put that nigga, that you. <laughs> Nigga, hey, run that shit, man, man. Run that shit, man. This nigga, man. This nigga pussy, man. What you running behind them people for? This so long. Man, you see me coming running behind them people, man. Chee, boy, man. Y'all boys know what time it is. Look, That's look. Crazy. Nigga, standing on top what? of the car. Just showed y'all boys all flinching at his ass, ain't it? It's so crazy because they got camera footage, bro. What the fuck, bro? They got camera footage, homie. Nah. Oh, man. I'm flinching at his now ass. Now, Jit's scary. He talking big shit behind them boys. Look, who you think he is? Now he's still talking. Get on top of the car again. I'm right there. See, spin on me. I'm right there in the middle. You see me? Oh, <laughs> uh, ooh, look at all the boys holding me back. We all the, look, look, I'm trying to, ooh. Look, you. Yeah, I already seen this. It ain't really nothing to see. See, it kind of went loco and spit on him. Then he got, he got right back in the car. Yeah, yeah and then he got back in the car. Shook, man. You shook, man. You know what time it is, Jit. You Damn, Jit. <laughs> Pussy. <man. laughs> I can't believe After this shit got to the internet. Bro, all I knew automatically in my head, I had to go. I cannot believe this shit got to the internet, bro. This nigga's speaking facts. Go get my shit, bro. Because you know when niggas are mad, they want to do petty shit towards the house. What a convenience. I was so right. Because when I went to the crib, already half of my stuff is outside, bro. Imagine you pay twelve hundred and these niggas are moving your shit wow. outside the, the house. Imagine you'll I'm just not nobody side. I don't care who watching. Say Steez. You know saying. Then we all started saying Steez. This nigga said decided to Facts. take this this saying and making it into a group, right? This man makes it to a group, gather all us niggas around me. I was saying Steez. How you know? I was saying Steez since I was niggas since 2016, 17, Ben saying that. I got my nigga Florida could vouch for me, bro. I got my nigga that Serrano could vouch for me, bro. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I've been saying that. Hey, uh, yeah. So when a nigga trying to like run off with my shit, bro, that get me mad. I ain't gonna lie. I'd be, I'd be like, damn. But at the same time, like. Why you let that JIT take Wonder, that SHI FRM you? Suave and call a kid Reviews and make jump. turn into Steez, a Steez group, basically. What's crazy about it is. Prior to when we're doing Steez and all that shit, all that Steez is under his name, Sid's name. Fam, the man took Call It Kid Sing and turned to his brand. The whole Steez is under Sid. See me, I, I'm on some shit. Oh, damn. And then we just went to the next video. That's crazy. All right, y'all. I'm about to end this 10-man compete for my wife. Who is this?
Oh, he done dropped a new series. Lord have mercy. All right, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm going to just react to the rest. Um, call it a day. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.